and about the to change to change and about the woo ba bang ba bang Black Critic Guy, I'm here today to review the movie Chronicle. And I gotta say, this has to be one of my favorite found footage films ever. So the basic premise is, while at a party, these three kids go into the woods and they find this hole. And they decide to go into the hole to discover what's down there. And what they find is like this magical, mystical rock. And they touch it, which gives them telekinetic powers. And so we follow them as they learn to use their powers, like to fly or to stop things or to levitate and stuff. And that is where our story begins. Now, I might have been one of the few who actually was really excited to go see this film. When I heard about it, I was like, yes, finally. Because I always thought that the superhero genre can be a found footage movie too, if handled in the right way. And I gotta say, this movie handled it in the right way. One thing that really surprised me was the great detail of characters. Like, I didn't expect them to go all out and develop these characters so well. In fact, the one that we follow the most is this one named Andrew, who's beat up by his abusive dad, his mom is dying, and basically, it, it really centers around him. He's our main focus for a while. And we get to learn how he becomes what he is, you know, why he acts the way he is and why he ends up doing what he does at, by the end of the movie. And as much as I know they try to portray him as a villain in this story, I feel like he's more of a tortured individual more than a villain because I feel his pain. Like, it's about the environment that he was in that caused him to do what he had to do. I mean, he wasn't bad just to be bad. It's the situations that he was put in that led him to do what he did. Another thing that I really liked was the camera work in this movie. Like, they used everything that they could. They used security cameras. They used uh, iPads, iPods, iTouches. Anything that they could use that they could float and levitate, they used it. And it was really cool to see, like, these different angles with the cameras. Very clever. The coolest aspect of this movie, though, is when they're u literally using their powers. For the whole movie, we just follow them as they develop their powers, as they learn how to fly, which was really cool to watch. And, like I said, just learn how to use their powers. Excellently done right there. I only had a few problems with the movie. Like, in the beginning, it was really slow to start off, the pacing-wise. But I understand because you're supposed to develop these characters as they go along. But it was just really slow. The other problem I had is I wish that they focused on all of them as much as they focused on Andrew. I mean, I really would have loved Matt's story, and actually I would love to hear about Steven's story. You know, the popular kid, you know, running for president, how did he get there? You know, like little bits and pieces, like, we know a little about them, but we don't go deep into their story like we do with Andrew. We mostly follow Andrew in this movie, but I would love to know their story too. And also, I would love to know Matt's love interest's story, you know, how they connect. We get a little backstory of them one, two times maybe, but that's about it. But overall, Chronicle is an amazingly shot movie with awesome effects, great characters to follow, and it really, it really steps the game up for found footage movies now. Just like Paranormal Activity stepped the game up for a found footage movie in the horror genre, this one steps the game up for the found footage genre for everything. And that is why, in my opinion, I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is a near perfect film and I really recommend that you go check it out. It's amazing. But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's overrated? And let me know what is your favorite found footage film. Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.